Hi everybody, this is Michael from Theme Canon, and in this video I'll show you how to work with the Visual Composer page builder. I'll assume that you've already installed our theme and also that you have some posts to work with. I'll be using the demo content from our previous site. To illustrate how the page builder works, I'll start to build the front page from our previous site. As you can see, I've already opened it up and I've chosen the dark skin so it's easy to distinguish the previous site from the page that we will be building which will use the default light skin. Okay so let's get started. First let's create a new page. Go to pages, add new, enter a title and publish. You now have an empty page, so let's tell WordPress to use this page as our new front page. Go to Settings, Reading, Front Page Displays, and for our static page, let's select the page we just created. If we check the front end, we can now see our empty home page. First thing we should do is to remove the title. So, open up the page. And select Hide Title in the page settings. Save changes. Now, if we look at our preview site, you'll see that at the top, we have a royal slider to the left a featured article to the right and a list of articles below. So let's go to our page editor. Click on the Visual Composer backend editor. Now add your first row. Select the two thirds plus one third column layout. In the first column, add the scene new royal slider element. Select the slider. And save changes. In the second column, add a scene single post element. Select the category. and select what number of posts from that category to show. Notice here that you do not choose a specific post, but in this example, the second newest post in the featured category, whatever that might be. The reason for this is that we want the post to update as you keep adding new content. If you chose a specific post, you would be forced to go in and update every single element every time you added a new post. We don't want that. We want your page to be a dynamic stream of posts. Okay, so finally we check to use meta and title as image caption and to hide excerpt. Below the single post element, we will add a scene posts listed element. Again, we will use the featured category Begin our list at post number 3 in the featured category and show 3 posts. Save changes and update. And this is what our homepage looks like now. If we take a look at our previous site and scroll down, we can see that the next element on the page is a separator titled Latest in Fashion. And in the row below, a single post with title as caption, a single post with regular title and excerpt, and to the right a list of posts. Now let's go back to our own site and build that. First we add a new row. To that row, add a scene separator element. Put latest in fashion as title and set style to bar. Add a link text 
and a link to your fashion category and save now add one more row select custom layout and put in one half plus one fourth plus one fourth alright in the first column put a single post element select the fashion category and begin at number one again we check use meta and title as caption and to hide excerpt in the next column we put another single post element and this one should show the second post in the fashion category also let's change the excerpt to 200 Finally, let's add a posts listed element. And let's show posts beginning with post number 3. Save and update. And this is what we have so far. I'll stop building at this point as I think you've gotten the general idea. If you're unsure how do we build the rest of the home page and you've imported our demo content, you can simply open up the home one page or any other page and inspect how we've set up each element. I hope this was helpful, thank you for watching and see you soon.